Polka family. I am so excited to come back and talk to you guys about the math curriculum I'm using for the first time in homeschool this year. And this is really not something just for homeschoolers. I would encourage you, if you have kids in school, to sit and listen to this because I think whatever curriculum you are using, you can kind of apply this shift in thinking that I'm trying to make with math. So here it is. It's called Math Mammoth. The purple book is the answer key and the blue book is the teacher guide. This curriculum was recommended to me by the same person that recommended Heart of Dakota. Thank you so much. I love it. Um, and the real difference in this curriculum, because I was intending to use Singapore math this year and I had all the materials already in my library. And when I was looking through it again, I just realized that it would work best if I could really sit and do an involved lecture with my kid. If I was using Singapore math before they went and went on and did their practice problems. And I realized that I just didn't have the time that it would take to do that. But I really love the way math is presented through Singapore where they kind of work with you right from the beginning to understand the theory and the thought process behind what you're doing. You're not just learning equations and steps to follow only, but right from the beginning, you're building a math vocabulary. You're learning what addition really is and what multiplication really is and division really is and the places that numbers have and, and what these things mean right from the beginning. I didn't want to lose that, but it seems that the person that wrote Math Mammoth is coming from a very similar place. However, they've created a curriculum where the lesson is in the student work text. So there's no, there is a teacher's manual with the solutions to like the exercises and the tests, but the actual lesson is in here and it's done in a very concise way so that I could sit my kid down and say, read the lesson in the box. This is an example. Say the kid is learning rounding and estimating. I could tell Mocha Girl 3, read the lesson in the box and, you know, let me know if you have any questions about it and I will help you. And because it's written to the student, there's more chance that they'll be able to grasp a lot more on their own than in the Singapore book, which is written to the teacher as an, uh, as an aid to teach the student. So that it kind of takes me subtly out of it in, in, just a, in, in just the right way to help me to be able to do what I need to do with multiple students that I'm working with. And so I really, really love that. But yet and still, I still made a rookie mistake when I got my curriculum. Since we were choosing this late, I had already started doing school. And so when this came in the mail on a weeknight, I think maybe it came on a Tuesday night, I was really excited to use it on Monday. But I didn't have time to read all the pages that are in front of the book kind of explaining the layout of things. And so it really wasn't until we got to chapter two that I noticed that every chapter, the book is broken down into chapters. Every chapter has an introduction. And in the introduction, it talks about all the concepts that you're trying to cover and where they're coming from with, with kind of showing you this aspect of math. Because I remember not for this daughter, but for Ms. Mocha Baby, I think she's doing, this is level 6A for sixth grade. Ms. Mocha Baby is doing level 2A. I, and, you know, before I go any further, realize that if you are not sure where your child goes, it's not always according to grade order necessarily. There is an assessment tool that you could do on the website to figure out where your child is. But we were doing a, a review for her and you know, they were having me uh, have her process the numbers a certain way, and I didn't understand where they were going with that. If I had read 
the introduction, I would have understood that, oh, the reason why they're doing that is because they're going to be talking about, you know, place values later on and she needs to do it like this so that she'll be able to see how the 10 comes out or whatever. You know, if I had read that in advance, I would have known where that was going. And that week was such a busy week that I never did go back and look through the book to see what I had missed. With this curriculum, the assumption is that you, the teacher, are able to learn the lesson with this information that they're giving you in this box. And with the internet resources, that's another wonderful thing about the chapter introduction. It also gives you a whole bunch of internet resources with websites you can go and you know, to reinforce what you're learning, uh, games, all sorts of tools that you can use, quizzes to reinforce what you're learning. The assumption is that everything that you, the teacher, need to be able to work with your student is in this book. You're going to be working alongside the student with this book. So the teacher's guide doesn't have pages of lecture notes or suggestions or you know, further information on what's really going on with whatever it is that you're teaching. And this was a shift for me because uh, the other type of lecturing style curriculum would have a little bit more of that. But what it has forced me to do is to process math in much the same way that I'm hoping that my kids will learn to process math. Just a little bit of history on me. I did really well in math all the way up until geometry. When you get to geometry, now you're dealing with more with theory. You're dealing with more with, well, what does it, this all mean? And if you were the kind of student that was more used to memorizing the formula and following the steps, math becomes challenging then. And I know that a lot of people tend to say that they don't have a mathematical mind once they are challenged in this way. But I'm really excited about how this curriculum is beginning to help me to think differently and to offer something different to my girls when it comes to this. Another thing I love is the supports that come with this. I signed up for her math course, her newsletter math email course, uh, very with a lot of hesitation since I don't need a whole lot of junk in my mailbox, but it's just been priceless. She sent an article last week talking about how important mistakes are. And we, we hear this all the time in teaching circles that, you know, there's no bad question. It's good to make a mistake. You learn from your mistakes. But this article was suggesting that there's some scientific evidence to prove that when you make a mistake in math, your brain actually grows and changes in a way so that in the future, now that you've learned from your mistake, you have a greater capacity to be able to solve that kind of problem. And that transformation would not have taken place without your mistake. So she is pushing I think her name is Maria, the, 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 the person, Maria Miller is the, per, the, uh, the author of this curriculum. She's pushing for us to encourage our students to make mistakes. And in my homeschool, that's a game changer because I know that a lot of the hesitation, a lot of the dread that happens with math is from a fear of making mistakes, not just on my kid's part, but also on my part because you know, the quicker we can get through it without mistakes, the more likely I am to, to get done and be able to check my box. And I'm really tr fighting against that. I'm really fighting against wanting to check my box. And seeing since I live with a mathematician, uh, and since I live with a mathematician, I see how approaching things mathematically can really make life much easier and solve a lot of problems. And so I really want that for my girls. And so I'm really, really excited about this curriculum and being able to do math this way. So 
Let me know what math curriculum you guys are using or if you've had any experience with Math Mammoth. I'm sorry this wasn't a sponsored video. I don't have a coupon code for you down below. I have nothing against sponsored videos. I would love to review some curriculum if you want to send it to me. But in any case, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be blessed.